What is happening? Is it bad or is it good? Clover today announced that Joseph Wagner, its chief financial officer, will be leaving the company on August 13 for personal reasons described below. Effective upon Mr. Wagner's departure, Mark Herbers of leading global consulting firm at Elix Partners LLP will serve as an interim chief financial officer until a permanent CFO is hired. Mr. Herbers has served as CFO for a number of public and private healthcare organizations and has 20 years of experience in the sector. So let's take a look at his experience. So this is the this is the interim CFO for Clover, Mark Herbers. And let's take a look at his summary. So Mark leads healthcare organizations through restructuring processes aimed at improving cash flow, financial performance, and strategic alignments with market conditions. He has nearly three decades of experience as a senior executive in all provider settings, covering both for-profit and not-for-profit as well as expertise in improving revenue cycle performance and in handling regulatory issues and reimbursement, financing, strate strategic planning, and physician relations. He has worked extensively with academic medical centers and residency fellowship program management. Mark has an MBA from Washington University in St. Louis and is a certified public accountant. Now that we know who is Mr. Herbers, let's take a look at the remaining letter. So Mr. Lee, a Shapiro, a member of Clover Board Directors and Chair of its Audit Committee, will lead the search committee that will oversee the process to replace Mr. Wagner. Mr. Shapiro previously served as a Chief Financial Officer of Vilongo Health Inc., a tech-enabled services company that helps individuals with chronic conditions to live better and healthier lives until November 2020. Clover has engaged a leading executive search firm to find a chief financial officer for the next stage of the company's growth. So the CEO, uh, Vivek, Clover Health's chief financial chief executive officer, CEO, said on behalf of Clover, I want to personally thank Joe for his hard work navigating the COVID-19 pandemic while simultaneously taking Clover public. We are entering an exciting phase of expansion as a as an public company and following the recent appointments of new chief growth officer and chief strategy and development officer, we continue to develop our best in-class management team to ensure we maximize our opportunity opportunities moving forward. I wish Joe and his family well. So this is what he replied, working with Vivek and Andrew to take Clover public has been highlight of my career. I've done much thinking after weighing the health challenges related to a family member along with the demands of being a CFO of a public company. As a result, I've made the decision to seek a role with a privately held company closer to home, which will allow me to devote more energy and attention to my family, said Mr. Wagner. I deeply believe in and support Clover's focus on health, equity, and missions to improve every life. I will be watching and cheering along the way. Well, for my personal opinion, I would say that there are three ways to look at it. The first one is the neutral way. The neutral way, it is, it is what it is. All right, he left because of family reasons and stuff like that. It is what it is. Nothing related to whether the company is doing good. Nothing related to the company is doing bad. Nothing. It's just, it is what it is. Unfortunate circumstances. Let's take a look at the negative, the bearish sentiment, which is maybe because he's not doing well and the company is not doing well and therefore, you know, Perhaps the entire management team say, you know what, you got to go, uh, do it cordially and stuff like that. So this is a mask of him being fired. So there's bearish sentiment saying that, you know, it is bad. Clover is bad. But the bullish sentiment, the good sentiment would be, let's take a look at the CEO's word. He hints us, 
whereby I want to personally thank Joe for hard work, yada, yada, yada. We are entering an exciting phase of expansion as a public company and following the recent appointment of new Chief Growth Officer and Chief Strategy and Development Officer, we continue to develop our best-in-class management team to ensure that we maximize our opportunities moving forward. So it could mean that the next CFO that's going to take over probably have greater credentials, probably has greater experience in navigating public company, bring them, bring them to a greater hype. He's not saying that the current CFO is bad because he appreciate him for bringing the company to become public. But because he doesn't have, perhaps he doesn't have experience in bringing the company to a greater level or like maintaining the company in a big scale, then I think it is very normal for the current CFO to leave, bring in a more experienced CFO to bring the company to the next level. So I leave it there. See whether what point, point of view you want to take a look at it. Leave them down in the comment section. What do you think about this entire you know thing? With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.